Okay, so first of all, I have found a chart made by our world in data, and I want to copy the colors from it. So I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation and then go to shapes and select a rectangle and then click and drag to draw a rectangle. Then I'll remove the shape outline and press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape. And then press Ctrl D a bunch more times in order to make six rectangles. Then I'll split the screen so I can see both the PowerPoint and the chart at the same time. I'll select the first rectangle and go to Shape Format and click on Shape Fill and then Eyedropper. Then I'll press and hold the left mouse button and drag the eyedropper tool and hover it over the color that I want to copy and then release the mouse and the color of the rectangle will change. I'll do that a second time, so we'll go to Shape Fill and then select the eyedropper. And if I try and do this without pressing the left mouse button, then the eyedropper tool will just disappear when I move outside of PowerPoint. I need to press and hold the left mouse button and then drag the eyedropper tool over the color that I want, then release the mouse button. And I'll do that for all of the other colors as well. Then I'll select all of the rectangles and Control C to copy, and then go to Excel and Control V to paste. Then I will move around these shapes because I want to mix up the order of the colors. Then I'll open up the clipboard and clear all, and then select the first shape and go to fill color and then more colors. And here I have the hex code and every color will have its own unique hex code. And I can select this and press Control C to copy, and it will appear on the clipboard, and then press OK. I'll do this for the second one as well, so select the rectangle, and then go to Fill, Color, and More Colors, and then select the hex code and Control C to copy, it will appear in the clipboard and then OK. And I'll do this for the other ones as well. Now I have all of the hex codes. I can click in a blank cell, go up to the formula bar and then paste all to get all of the hex codes in one cell. Then I'll select all of this and Control C to copy and then press enter to get out of that cell. Then go to page layout and colors and go down to customize colors. The first four colors are for the text and the background, so I'm not going to change those. I'm going to change the six accent colors. So I'll click on the first one and then go to more colors. Then in the hex code box, I'll select this and then Control V to paste in all of the hex codes. I'll then click and drag to select all of the hex codes except for the first one, and then press Control X to cut that. Now I have just one code in the box, I can press OK, and the color changes. Now I'll do this for the second one, so I'll go to More Colors, and inside the hex box, select everything and Control V to paste in the other hex codes. Then select everything except for the first one and Control X to cut, and then OK. And I'll do that for the rest of the colors as well. Now that I've changed all of the colors, I will give this a name. I'll call it our world and then save. 
And now if I go back up to colors, I have the custom color palette called Our World that I just made. And this will be available in all of my Excel spreadsheets. So if I open up another Excel workbook, at the moment I have all of the default colors here, but I can go to Page, Layout and Colors and then select the custom color palette that I just made. And now if I go back to Home, the colors here have changed and then I also have different shades of these colors. Now I will make a chart, so I'll just add in a bunch of numbers, then go to Insert and insert a bar chart. And I'll double click on this and change it so that the colors vary. And then I get my six colors. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a custom color palette in Excel. And that is everything.